This now from Westminster's UKIP MP and out campaigner Douglas Carswell. Uh, very good afternoon to you, Mr Carswell. Thanks for joining us here this lunchtime on Sky News. So the Prime Minister says you are peddling nonsense, is he right? It's extraordinary strident and rather panicky language, if I may say. I think there's an air of panic over Downing Street now. They uh, are simply losing control of this campaign and they're, they're lashing out. The Prime Minister, for example, said that there's no question of us being involved in any further bailouts. But it's there in black and white. Look at Article 122, subsection 2 of the European treaties, and it's there in black and white. Under qualified majority voting, we could be liable. Um, for him to dismiss these concerns, these risks of remaining, uh, you know, I, I'm afraid it, it, it won't do. But the Prime Minister is saying uh, the, the IFS um, believes that if there is a Brexit, there will be less money being spent on public uh, services. Uh, Britain will be borrowing more, which is something that uh, uh, those who are in favour of Brexit isn't saying. So, so who is the public supposed to believe? Just hold on a second. The IFS, are, are they the people who correctly predicted the financial downturn and the financial crisis and the uh, tanking of the banks? Look, a lot of these so-called experts are not good at foreseeing the future. We know that. They failed to see what was going to happen when the economy and the banks were crashed. Uh, what we do know, and it's a fact, is World that... The World Bank, the World Trade Organization, all these independence organizations are seemingly saying the same thing. It is a fact that every year we give a gross contribution to the EU of about 20 billion, a net contribution of 10 billion. If we weren't giving that contribution, we would have about 10.6 billion extra pounds that we could spend on our priorities. By taking back control, we could put more money into the NHS and other public services. That is a fact, and no amount of angry language and trying to denigrate the motives of uh, the Leave campaign can, can, can diminish that. Mr. Gartswell, I mean, do you concede that on both sides there is uh, some disinformation that's been put forward, being projected onto the public? And this is where the person on the street has real difficulty in deciding who to believe and ultimately what way to, to vote when it comes to the 23rd of June. On the contrary, as people listen to the case for taking back control, more and more people are waking up to the idea that actually things don't have to be this way. We can, on June the 23rd, vote to take back control and avoid the risks of remaining. If we remain, we're liable to the extra cost of future bailouts. If we vote to take back control, it's a safer thing to do. And as people hear that message, they're coming around to our way of thinking. Precisely because that's happening, there's a bit of panic in Downing Street. But if there is a, a vote to, to, to leave the European Union, we've heard from Boris Johnson in the past, who says that there will be a blip in terms of uh, the, the economy, can you guarantee to, to people, to the viewers watching uh, Sky News, uh, that there won't be some, or there will be instability, or there won't be instability if there is uh, a vote to leave Europe? There won't be a downside any more than at a general election. It, it, we hold general elections where everyone's allowed to decide who forms the government. Uh, you, you could argue that that would lead to instability, therefore don't hold general elections. We, we don't accept that argument. In a democracy, it's right that people should be able to choose. Allowing people the option to vote to leave the European Union would make us better off and more prosperous in the future. These attempts at trying to invoke doom and gloom if people become a self-governing democracy, they're simply not credible. There's nothing extreme or outlandish about being a self-governing democracy. That is perfectly normal in most parts of the world. What, what Downing Street is trying to do is to discredit the idea that we're better off if we take back control. I think that reflects quite badly on, on, on them as the government, if they're not willing to actually uh, believe in the idea of Britain being better and uh, the idea of self-governance. OK, Douglas Carswell, uh, MP, thanks for joining us uh, this uh, lunchtime on Sky News.